What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here and finally after 48 hours with no power just to my room specifically in my apartment I'm finally back. We're on the regular setup. Uh, we're not on a laptop freaking sitting in the corner of my bed or anything like that We're back and today we're gonna be Starting off with that good news, but also talking about some more good news, talking about how nature is healing, talking about how the CS markets are beginning to show some signs of life, beginning to show some positive signs, and just bringing hopefully some overall positive news to you guys in a market and news cycle that has been filled with nothing but negative, depressing, uh, overly critical news, takes, feedback, all of that stuff recently. So um, obviously this first tweet isn't really one of the more positive ones, but this guy, Cooper CSGO, um, tweeted out how the CS... Uh, is crashing harder than crypto, which is, I guess, just talking about the volatility of crypto because crypto's actually been doing quite well recently, but whatever. And everyone keeps posting these Steam chart graphs of the CS total player base. And there's actually been some more people who have been, I think, diving deeper into these numbers and actually taking a greater look at this because when this is first posted, you can just see instantly where everyone's eyes go to, and that's in the last 30 days. A minus 184,000, you know, average players with a minus 18.92% gain. And that doesn't look great. Now, obviously, some people have kind of rebuttaled to that being like, okay, after a, a release of a new game, obviously, you expect there's going to be some decline. Um, you know, you have the hype and excitement of a new release, and then that's going to bring all these players in. And then slowly, some of those players are going to trickle off, but hopefully, you're going to end up higher than where you started. I think that's kind of how all game releases go. You know, game releases are some of the biggest days or some of the most important days. Obviously, for super successful games, you eventually hope to overtake it and, and grow more popular than you were at release, but we're not going to know if that's going to happen with CS2 for months, if not years. Um, you know, if this is a five to 10 year life cycle game or whatever. But what is interesting is again, super, super easy, negative doomer take. And there's obviously some validity to this because it's not like we have just kind of rebounded and some players have left. We're actually at numbers that are kind of concerning when you look at them, you know, we're at this 800,000 about average player mark. And you can see we haven't been down this low since February of 2023. But what's interesting there is we were at these numbers in February 2023. It's not like we've rebounded to numbers from like two, three, four, five years ago. It's not like the player base numbers we're seeing are absolutely, you know, throwing back the clock and things are looking absolutely horrible. We are going back to numbers that we just recently saw in February in 2023. And in February of 2023, if you knew that we had 800,000 players, like in February 2023, those numbers were seen as quite good. And CS was actually quite healthy and things were going quite well. And the market was growing and things were trending upwards and things were going good. Now, obviously, in March and April and in that time period, that's when we started to get the uh, hints of CS2. And that's when the market absolutely started to explode. That's when the player base absolutely started to explode. You know, we went from 800,000 to 850 to 900 to 1.1 million to 1.1 million down to 900, 900, 900. And this is kind of the first time that we're seeing that retracement. Now, obviously, it's not great that we have lost all of the player base spike and all of the hype from CS2. But again, we've been over why this has happened. CS2 release was not that great. There's not been much new content. There's not really reasons for players to come into this game and stay right now. There's not all the game modes. There's not any new game modes. There's not any new skins. There's not any new chests. Um, you know, there's not really a reason to bring in new players. Now, what is a good sign is that even despite this disastrous release and so many things going bad and people being unhappy and even people saying the game is all buggy, glitchy, whatever, there's still 800,000 average players over the last 30 days and that is still where we were in February of 2023. We've not like gone lower than that number. Now, you could say, hey, we're still dropping. We're going to get to blow that number or whatever. I don't know. I don't truly believe that. But I still do think that it's actually quite promising that despite the fact that the CS2 release went so horribly and there's still all these things that are unfinished and uncompleted about the game and all this new content and everything that we know is coming the fact that we are still at these numbers it just shows what the potential is it just shows that when some of these mistakes get ironed out and when we actually get to that better state where the real potential in this game is because you can see this very very solid base now i thought this was very very interesting because uh vu started tweeting some stuff about this he said hey guys did csgo die after this horrific 33 percent drop in players a month after launch now obviously comparing the csgo launch to the cs2 launch is a little bit different it's not one to one but you you can see here that when CSGO launched, um, you know, they rose up to 16,000 players in September and then they were down to 10,000 players in October. There was a 33% drop. Now, obviously, CSGO then was okay from there. It went on this insane run. It's one of the best games of all time, super successful, all that good stuff. Also, another funny meme with these same numbers, Vu tweeted out, CS players, when they find out the game that they play six hours a day, might not 100% definitely be dying. 
and he compares uh, the numbers that we've seen recently to the CSGO numbers and, you know, people are just getting mad, which I think is really, really funny because, yes, ultimately at the end of the day, there is some kind of floor. And CS2 and Counter-Strike in general, even if it's not a perfect game, even if there's some bugs and glitches and it feels a little bit wonky at times, is still a tried tested and true formula people love this game people love to play this game people are going to continue to play this game as long as it's in a mostly playable state which cs2 absolutely is people are maybe addicted to this game maybe it's just their favorite hobby pastime people love playing it people have loved playing it and will continue to play it um so i think that is very very good news and again once the the good parts of cs2 come which we assume they will come uh that is just going to bring in the new players then will that keep the players whatever how many new players are going to bring in how many new players are going to be able to hang on to i don't know what we'll to wait and see but that is definitely a good sign for the market that we are at least where we are right now and also we have over the past couple days actually been seeing the market start to recover a little bit price empire tweeted this out a couple days ago they said the op dragon lore has recovered a bit and the price point is over ten thousand on buff um and they also said hey we've seen a slight recovery for some liquids uh interesting situation and they have you know a lot of stuff uh in the last 24 hours starting to look like it's up some stuff up a couple percentage points um some of these graphs even though they are hitting bottom starting to maybe bottom out or starting to hit maybe even a little bit of an uptrend um towards the end so who knows but again the dragon lord was below 10k for a little bit and now it seems to be back above 10k or at least it was at this point um and we also had uh current market trends for high tier skins um obviously a lot of things that took big hits but again some things are starting to flatten out some things are starting to turn around maybe a little bit we also had esport fire tweeting out um this was on october 29th they said for the first time since the third of october our esport fire 300 index shows an upward trend again they zoomed in and uh we saw this little upward trend starting to be beginning to form this was a couple days ago this was the first kind of sign of life that we had seen in the markets for quite some time an extended period of flattening or going up when things had really just been down um, since the release of cs2 and if we look at the esport fire graphs today that trend did continue um where hey that uptrend started and then it continued for a couple days this is now you know one two three going on four days in a row of really a lot of upward movement. I don't know if that means we for sure found the bottom or anything like that, but again, this is the first extended upward period we've seen in the past month. It could just be a little blip going up before it goes right back down, or this could be the beginning of kind of recovery. It could show that we have maybe hit some kind of bottom because again, talked about this in the other video. Yes, we saw this crazy overexcitement about CS2 that didn't make any sense and it went way too high. And then we crashed back down to uh, where all we see is negativity. You go on Twitter, you go on Reddit, you go on Discord, whatever. All it is is people being negative about CS2 and the game and the community and the future of this game, which is the most important thing. Markets are forward looking. Markets care about the future. The investments are months, years long. Uh, so in some of that needs to be priced in. There's no way that CS2 and the future of CS2 can be as bad or as negative as people are making it seem. So um, I do think this is good that, again, we have continued to see an upward trend. It does seem like, like I said, nature is healing. It does seem like CS uh, stocks or whatever you want to call it, the skins, the markets, whatever, are starting to trend up in the right direction. Seems like things are going a little bit better. Again, I don't know what this means going forward, but I do think this is a very, very good sign to see. I think there are a couple really, really good signs in the market right now. Uh, and I know people love to bitch and moan and be negative and, and be pessimistic optimistic, but uh, hey, it's probably not as bad as all those negative people out there are making it seem. And I don't know when CS2 is going to get fixed. I don't know when there's going to be new content. I don't know when there's going to be all these good things happening, but I believe they're coming. Uh, and I believe you need to factor that in. I think it needs to be priced into the market at some point uh, as well. I think there's a lot better chance that CS2 has a bright future ahead of it than CS2 is going to die and that everything's going to go to zero. So I'm remaining confident for now. Yeah, I'd love if the market was exploding. This kind of sucks when it's going down, but um, who cares? It's going to be okay. The prices today don't matter. Pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you the next one. But until then. Peace.